Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that I knew, my name's Jay and... Let's get started. Okay y'all, so Miss Pika Fun Poke, she commented on my video and she told me that I should do a natural makeup tutorial or a skincare routine. So I'm gonna be doing the natural makeup and then I'll be doing a skincare tutorial or skincare routine later on. But I never do, I like fast forward when I do the base and stuff because I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with priming our skin. So I, I do like this, um, it says prep and blur stick. It's just a stick and I rub it on my face. I don't know why I really like it, but I do really like it. And I think it was like, I don't know how much it was, but it was really cheap. And I wanna say I got it at CVS, so. So now that you look like a ghost, um, I rub it with my hand. I just rub it into my skin. I do have really oily skin and it's disgusting. <laughs> I don't know, I feel it. Like, I'll even tell Diego sometimes when we go out, I'm like, is my skin oily? And he's like, no, it's not, but I just feel it. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Then, so I just got this from BoxyCharm and it's Trez, it's in a whole different language and it's this one. The name is right there, look it up. Just, I'm gonna put it right here because I have like this pimple that actually really hurts. And then I have this other little scar right here. And I guess I'll put some on my forehead ones. And on my nose because why not? And then you close this up. It's a magnet. And then you can take this bottom part off and it's like a little sponge. It's like the cutest thing ever. And that's it. Okay, so then, um, like usually I do my eyes first and then I go from there. <laughs> so right now I'm like, what is my next step? Eyebrows. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. I am using the Anastasia. It's like this brow dip. Actually, I don't really know the name. So I just put it on top right here. Yo, I'm just, <laughs> honestly, I, I found this and I'm kind of lazy to do my eyebrows. So I'm like, oh, this is perfect. So I'm gonna go with this flat brush that isn't even for eyebrows, but. But it's so easy to like pick up your eyebrows and then you look up as a mess. But there's one. Honestly, y'all, I feel like y'all have noticed, but my eyebrows. <laughs> I usually thread my eyebrows and I'm like really scared to go get them threaded because it's gonna hurt. And now I have like completely different shapes for both of them because I did it myself. <laughs> oh, why did I do this to myself? That just f***ed me off, but we're gonna try to fix it. I'm not giving up, ew. So I'm gonna use these two things that I would keep saying I'm out of and magically they just keep appearing but I'm using the KKW Beauty Concealer but I am using it just because it's like kind of similar to my skin tone and since we're doing just the base and natural makeup I want it to not look too light I guess because I'm not really putting anything on top of it. Okay and then I'm going in with the Jeffree Star and it's the concealer too. It's also this kind of similar to my color, which is C15 for this one, and then for this one it's eight. <laughs> That's that. I'm gonna get the blush. The <laughs> I'm gonna get the brush and blend it. In. I mean, this eyebrow isn't that bad. It's this one. That's the problem. Okay. So there's that. When I'm like this, it doesn't look bad. And when I'm like that, I can't. I try to, try to change the shape of my eyebrows, and this is what happens. It's just not. <laughs> Yo, I'm so bad. It's not having it. All right, y'all. I'm going with this little wet sponge, and I'm just gonna set it so my concealer doesn't crease. Even though I spent way too long on my eyebrows, it probably already creased. Just gonna get this little brush and just brush. It. All right. There you go. There you go. So now I'm gonna be going in with the Anastasia foundation. I am color, or I am close to the color 345C. I'm using it. I do have like. I have a bunch of different foundations, but they're all like different color. But I, I don't know, for some reason I really am enjoying this one so far. So let's just use it. I do make little lines like this. Why? I don't know, because I'm fucking weird and it brings me pleasure. And then just a little bit on my nose and... All right, y'all. And I am using the Hunter Falcon um, Cosmetics, the sponge. So check them out on Instagram. So let's start. Blending that baby in. 
All right, we're going, we're getting some more. <laughs> Dang. I don't know, kind of. Kind of the same color, kind of not. Kind of gonna keep it pushing because why not? That kind of rhyme. I can with my eyebrows. <laughs> I got a shade lighter and it looks super light, but when I put it on my skin, it does blend out. So just watch because I was thinking that yesterday and I was talking so much and look, a little does go a long way, honestly, so much. I just put four little dots. I'm going in with the concealer brush from Kat Von D, brush 40. I got it because I bought like a bunch of things because I saw they were having a huge sale since she sold the company. And I'm like, I want it. I honestly, this is why I want it. Because I think this is fucking beautiful. And <laughs> that's so light compared to my skin that I can't even use it. But at least I have the packaging, right? The only reason why I like using the brush is because I feel like you get like deep, deep in there. But then I do go over it with the sponge. So you just like that. So now we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going because I'm trying to get out of here. Okay, so now I am going in with the Kat Von D Shade Plus Light Contour. A couple weeks ago when I first got it, I was talking so much And then I, I think I found out how to use it and now I really do like it. Or maybe it's just uh, the mixture of foundations I was using with it. And it wasn't. It wasn't having it. But I'm going to put it right here. So I always start off on my cheekbones and I use a mixture of all three of them, which I'll show you guys right now. So it's all three of these bones. Why do I do that? I don't know. Does it help? Probably not. But all three of them again. And just put them in the, the mirror down because so I can hold my hair up. Alright, and just like that. So with this little brush that I have, you go ahead. I put it to contour my nose. Just like that. And now we're gonna bake. So now with this one, put it, get my little sponge, your little brush, whatever you wanna get. And I do the bottom right here, and I do be like wiping on it. <laughs> Trying to smear all my makeup. Right here on my nose, the other side of my nose. All right, and there you go, there you have it. I'm gonna go in with the Milani blush and just put that all over. <laughs> I was gonna say just put a little here, a little there, but now we're gonna put it all over. Some on your nose, and then on your forehead. Right there. And now, bitch, we gon' blend. We gon' blend. And when you look like a Duwali, I don't know why everybody, I, I feel like I look like a Duwali. I'm gonna go put on some lashes. Honestly, y'all, I realize the trick is when you have big lashes, you don't really need eyeliner. So you don't really need to spend all that time trying to put on eyeliner, okay? This is me, I'm not going out, but I'm just saying for you girls. I've realized a lot of girls now, if they have huge lashes, I ask like, are you wearing eyeliner? And they're like, no. So, note to self, you don't have to wear eyeliner and you have big lashes. And we're actually gonna put some big lashes on, so I don't know which ones yet. But I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go put them on and then we're gonna put on highlighter and we're done. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know what else I want to go do, but we're back. So I am wearing um, Bella Lou's Lash. They are, I'm wearing Sangria. I'll link her down below. Y'all check them out. Now I'm going to put on this. So I do get a darker brown than obviously your color. Yo, I have really big lips. <laughs> And then with the braces, it makes my upper lip look bigger because it like sticks it out. And at the same time, my lips, I don't know, I don't like my lips. <laughs> They're kind of deformed, but then I'm gonna just rub that in. Oh, when I actually got this in BoxyCharm. So I am using Beauty Velvet, and it doesn't say the color, but it's that one. Just like that, and then you get a little bit of glitter. I'm using, I think this was also in BoxyCharm, but it's Champagne Cream by Becca. I don't know why I really like it, but I always use it. Okay, so after that, we are going to highlight. What? Get this little brush. And just, and then on the other legs. And a little bit on the nose, and a little bit on top of the nose. I look a little greasy right now, but my face is drying. <laughs> Put some eyeliner on the bottom wet line. I think that's what it's called, so. Okay, y'all, so that's it. <laughs> this is the final look. 
I don't really like this side. But that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for all the love and support, guys. I Like I keep saying, I can't stop saying it enough. But that's it. Let me know if it helped. So that's it. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. Bye.